So this is going to be the last video in our setting up shop series. Uh, we've gone through a bunch of different tools. We've gone through workbenches, planes, saws, uh, hammers, chisels, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so it, maybe you feel like it's a lot of stuff to look at, uh, but maybe you're looking and you're saying, yeah, but there are so many other woodworking tools out there. Uh, but the great news about this series is what we wanted to do is to you know, get you set up with a basic set of tools to be able to make furniture. So the good news is if you know of other tools, you don't need them to make furniture. What we wanted to do is show you the basics, get you set up, and show that you know, much of what's going to happen, 99% of what happens in furniture making can be done with these simple tools. Now, uh, there are other specialist tools out there. If you want to get into chair making, you're going to want to you know, be you know, a connoisseur of draw knives. You want to get into spoke shaves. You want to be doing all sorts of stuff like that. If you're into coopering, that's a whole set of tools. Um, every trade has its own set of unique tools. But for fur uh, furniture making, it's relatively simple and they're relatively universal for woodworking uh, tools. Uh, just your bench planes and your saws and your chisels are going to be used in a lot of different trades. So our goal with this is just to show you uh, the, the baseline, the starting place, and then to maybe get you, you know, give you a little teaser to say, okay, here are some other trades. So if you want to get into chair making, for example, you can start going down that path. Um, so what we want to do with this series is move from this, these basic tools, um, and think about, uh, we're not going to be looking at specialist tools. We're not going to go into chair making tools. What we want to do is we want to take these tools now that we've shown you and introduced you to and kind of show you how to set it up, uh, the nuances of using them, you know, especially wooden planes. Everybody thinks they're kind of funny and, and you know, quirky to use. So we want to now begin to walk through these tools systematically showing you how do you make this thing work. Maybe you have one of these back in your garage from your, you know, your, your grandfather had this thing or something and you say, how do you get this thing working? Uh, so that's the kind of stuff we want to tackle now. We want to get these things working in your hands so that you can make furniture too, make whatever you're interested in uh, and, and tackle this kind of stuff. So if that's of interest to you, stay tuned. We're going to be uh, publishing more videos about that. But also every day uh, we publish on the Daily Dispatch. We publish content like this all the time, whether it's writing or video. And so if you're interested in that, you can click up here and subscribe to that. Hope you enjoy.